In Italian folklore, Bifana pronounced Bfana is an old woman who delivers gifts to children throughout Italy on Epiphany Eve, the night of January 5th, in a similar way to Saint Nicholas or Santa Claus. A popular belief is that her name derives from the Feast of Epiphany or in Catholic La Festa del Epiphania. Epiphania is a Latin word with Greek origins meaning manifestation of the divinity. Some suggest that Bifana is descended from the Sabine, Roman goddess named Strenia. In popular folklore, Bifana visits all the children of Italy on the eve of the Feast of the Epiphany to fill their socks with candy and presents if they are good, or a lump of coal or dark candy if they are bad. In many poorer parts of Italy and in particular rural Sicily, a stick in a stocking was placed instead of coal. Being a good housekeeper, many say she will sweep the floor before she leaves. To some the sweeping meant the sweeping away of the problems of the year. The child's family typically leaves a small glass of wine and a plate with a few morsels of food, often regional or local, for the Bifana, she is usually portrayed as a hag riding a broomstick through the air wearing a black shawl and is covered in soot because she enters the children's houses through the chimney. She is often smiling and carries a bag or hamper filled with candy, gifts, or both. She is also referred to as the Christmas witch. Legend Christian legend had it that Bifana was approached by the biblical Magi, also known as the Three Wise Men, or the Three Kings, a few days before the birth of the infant Jesus. They asked for directions to where the Son of God was, as they had seen his star in the sky, but she did not know. She provided them with shelter for a night, as she was considered the best housekeeper in the village, with the most pleasant home. The Magi invited her to join them on the journey to find the baby Jesus, but she declined, stating she was too busy with her housework. Later, La Bifana had a change of heart, and tried to search out the astrologers and Jesus. That night she was not able to find them, so to this day, La Bifana is searching for the little baby. She leaves all the good children toys and candy. Caramel. Or fruit, while the bad children get coal. Carbone. Onions or garlic. Another Christian legend takes a slightly darker tone as La Bifana was an ordinary woman with a child whom she greatly loved. However, her child died, and her resulting grief maddened her. Upon hearing news of Jesus being born, she set out to see him, delusional that he was her son. She eventually met Jesus and presented him with gifts to make him happy. The infant Jesus was delighted, and he gave La Bifana a gift in return, she would be the mother of every child in Italy. Popular tradition tells that if one sees La Bifana one will receive a thumb from her broomstick, as she doesn't wish to be seen. This aspect of the tradition may be designed to keep children in their beds. Another commonly heard Christian legend of La Bifana starts at the time of the birth of baby Jesus. Bifana spends her days cleaning and sweeping. One day the Magi, also known as the Three Wise Men, came to her door in search of baby Jesus. Bifana turned them away because she was too busy cleaning. Bifana notices a bright light in the sky, she thinks this is the way to baby Jesus. She brought some baked goods and gifts for baby Jesus in her bag and took her broom to help the new mother clean and began her search for baby Jesus. She searched and searched for baby Jesus, but never found him. Bifana still searches today, after all these centuries. On the eve of the Epiphany, Bifana comes to a house where there is a child and leaves a gift. Although she has been unsuccessful in her search, she still leaves gifts for good young children because the Christ child can be found in all children. History Bifana was never a widespread tradition among the whole Italian people. Having originated in Rome and having become well known and practiced by the rest of the population only during the 20th century. Many people believe that the name Bifana is derived from the Italian's mispronunciation of the Greek word epiphania or epiphania Greek, epiphania equals appearance, surface, English, epiphany. Others point to the name being a derivative of Bastrina, the gifts associated with the goddess Strina. In the book Domestic Life in Palestine, by Mary E. Rogers, Poe and Hitchcock, 1865, the author notes, but an essay on the fine arts, by E. L. Tarbuck, led me to believe that this custom is a relic of pagan worship, and that the word bastrina, refers to the offerings which used to be made to the goddess Strenia. We could hardly expect that the pagans who embraced Christianity could altogether abandon their former creeds and customs. 
Macaulay says Christianity conquered paganism, but paganism infected Christianity, the rites of the pantheon passed into her worship, and the subtilities of the academy into her creed. Many pagan customs were adopted by the new church. T. Hope, in his Essay on Architecture, says, the Saturnalia were continued in the carnival, and the festival with offerings to the goddess Strenia was continued in that of the new year. A theory connects the tradition of exchanging gifts to an ancient Roman festivity in honor of Giannis and Strenia. In Italian a Christmas gift used to be called Strena, celebrated at the beginning of the year, when Romans used to give each other presents. In the book Vestiges of Ancient Manners and Customs, Discoverable in Modern Italy and Sicily, 1823, John J. Blunt says, This Bifana appears to be heir at law of a certain heathen goddess called Strenia, who presided over the New Year's gifts, Streni, from which, indeed, she derived her name. Her presents were of the same description as those of the Bifana, figs, dates, and honey. Moreover her solemnities were vigorously opposed by the early Christians on account of their noisy, riotous, and licentious character. The tradition of Bafana appears to incorporate other pre-Christian popular elements as well, adapted to Christian culture and related to the celebration of the New Year. Historian Carlo Ginsberg relates her to Nisaven. The old lady character should then represent the old year, just past, ready to be burned in order to give place to the new one. In many European countries the tradition still exists of burning a puppet of an old lady at the beginning of the New Year, called Jubiana in northern Italy, with clear Celtic origins. Italian anthropologists Claudia and Luigi Manchoco, in their book Una Casa Senza Port, A House Without Doors, trace Bafana's origins back to Neolithic beliefs and practices. The team of anthropologists also wrote about Bafana as a figure that evolved into a goddess associated with fertility and agriculture. Bafana also maintains many similarities with Perchta and her pre-Christian Alpine traditions. The Bifana today the Bifana is celebrated throughout all of Italy, and has become a national icon. In the regions of the Marches, Umbria and Latium, her figure is associated with the Papal States, where the Epiphany held the most importance. Urbania is thought to be her official home. Every year there is a big festival held to celebrate the holiday. About 30,000 to 50,000 people attend the festivities. Hundreds of Bifanas are present, swinging from the main tower. They juggle, dance and greet all the children. Traditionally, all Italian children may expect to find a lump of coal in their stockings, actually rock candy made black with caramel coloring, as every child has been at least occasionally bad during the year. Three places in Italy are nowadays associated with the Bifana tradition. Piazza Navona in central Rome is the site of a popular market each year between Christmas and the Epiphany, where toys, sugar charcoal and other candies are on sale. The Feast of the Bifana in Rome was immortalized in four famous sonnets in the Roman dialect by the 19th-century Roman poet Giuseppe Gioacchino Belli. In Otterino Respighi. S. 1928 Fest Roman, Roman Festivals, the fourth movement, titled La Bifana, is an orchestral portrayal of this Piazza Navona festival. Romans believe that at the midnight January 6 the Bifana shows herself from a window of Piazza Navona, and they always go there to watch her, it. S. A. joke everybody tells while going to the feast to buy candies, toys and sweets. The town of Urbania in the province of Pissarro e Urbino within the Marches, where the National Bifana Festival is held each year, usually between January 2 and 6. A. House of the Bifana is scheduled to be built and the post office has a mailbox reserved for letters addressed to the Bifana, mirroring what happens with Santa Claus in Rovaniemi. In Fornovo di Taro, a town in the province of Parma, the national meeting. Raduno Nazionale della Bifana e dei Bifani is held on 5 and 6 January. In other parts of the world where a vibrant Italian community exists, traditions involving Bifana may be observed and shared or celebrated with a wider community. In Toronto, Canada, for example, a Bifana choir shows up on winter solstice each December to sing in the Kensington Market Festival of Lights Parade. Women, men, and children dressed in La Bifana costume and nose sing love songs to serenade the sun to beckon its return. The singing hags gather in the street to give candy to children, to cackle and screech to accordion music, and to sing in every key imaginable as delighted parade participants join in the cacophony. Sometimes, the Bifanas dance with parade goers and dust down the willing as parade goers walk by. 
Poems and Songs There are poems about Bafana, which are known in slightly different versions throughout Italy. Here is one of the versions. La Bafana vin di nakan la scarpe tutte radical vestito alla romanaviva, viva la Bafana. The English translation is The Bafana comes by night with her shoes all tattered and Tornche comes dressed in the Roman way long live the Bafana. Another version is given in a poem by Giovanni Pascoli. Viene, viene la Bafanavian di Monte a not fondacum e stanca, la circonda neve e gelo e tramontana, viene, viene la Bafana. The English translation is Here comes, here comes the Bafanash comes from the mountains in the deep of the night look how tired she is. All wrapped up in snow and frost and the north wind. Here comes, here comes the Bafana. See also Epiphany, holiday, Necht Ruprecht, Krampus, Perchta, St. Nicholas Day, Zwarte Piet. References External links Christmas in Abruzzo, La Bafana. Abruzzo. Archived from the original on 13 March 2013. Retrieved 24 February 2015. Bafana, an academic view. The story of the Bafana and letters and pictures by children.